this is um, free to play and it's a simulator it's basically you are taking the um, capsule and docking it onto the International Space Station out in orbit and this is what the astronauts use to for practice so as it says there on the screen it says this simulator will familiar, familiarize you with the controls of the actual interface used by NASA astronauts to manually pilot the SpaceX Dragon 2 vehicle to the International Space Station. Successfully or successful docking is achieved when all green numbers in the center of the interface are below 0 0.2. Movement in space is slow and requires patience and precision. And this is pretty tedious. You don't have to download anything. All you need is a web browser. You can play it on your um, try it on your cell phone if you want, but it's going to be a lot harder because um, keyboard. Let's hit the instructions here. This is the docking tips. Here's your green numbers. Our corrections necessary to reach the ISS successful docking is achieved when all numbers are below 0 0.2. And it's not easy. My other video is like 45 minutes long. I do not plan on making this video that long. I'll give you like a a, um, a good idea of it and uh, I'll end the video because I don't want <laughs> I don't want this thing super ass long. Um, rotation controls first use the buttons on the right to correct your axis of rotation and roll. Pitch and yaw, you must be properly orient, oriented to dock. So if you are pitch one direction and cockeyed, you're not going to be able to dock. Uh, these controls here are on the right side of the keyboard. These controls here are on the left side of the keyboard. Then use the buttons on the left to translate your position up, down, left, right, backward, or forward towards the ISS. And this you can make bigger, same, same with the ones on the right. You can make these bigger by clicking on the center. And then you have, um, it'll move a little bit faster. But it's tedious. And it's not, you know, don't sit there and hold the button down you want to like give it like a little thrust you know tap tap you know it'll thrust now there's no sound for this video um, for on the, the website here it makes no sounds I, I kind of wish it would you know like a little psh, psh or something but it, it don't make nothing both controls have pre have a precision toggle at their center the default settings are small pre precise movements. Do not use large movements near the ISS. And that is true. Uh, here, raise your target. Your target is a green diamond. It's an overlay of the docking adapter. It must be centered in the interface to dock. So basically you're going inside this octagon each one and it guides you to where you have to dock at but you have to have precision <clears throat> once you get closer and closer and closer and you got to be within that minus uh, 0 0.2 radius or you know the numbers uh, here heads up display blue numbers are the rates speed that you are translating or rotating. Your rate towards the ISS is located in the bottom right. <clears throat> Here's your rate right here is what they're talking about for milliseconds. And it's very tedious.
<laughs> so you got roll, you got pitch, you got yaw, and then you got speed. And here's your crosshairs, that which you will be using to steer your capsule towards the space station. Uh, here. Now to slow it down, are these, is this button right here, the minus, to go to, um, says keep your rate below minus 0 0.2 milliseconds when your range from the ISS is below 5 meters. Go too fast and you risk running into the ISS. Show you here, at the begin. Go through this cool looking view. I you can use it, it does this automatically. It throws you off whack. So you know off course. So you can use your mouse for these other these uh, uh, roll left, roll right, and then the um, translate forward or translate backwards and these here if you click on the center you get you can enlarge the controls to which um for like out here it probably would be best to use but as you get closer towards the dock port up here you're going to want to go back to the smaller uh, precision controls and you can also enlarge these too but you get it going um, too fast and all this and that and next thing you're way past the space station and <laughs> all right so we're just gonna you know I'm just gonna get this thing going here and you know you got earth down here and the space station okay so <clears throat> I'm just gonna get this thing moving <coughs> not too much takes a few clicks to actually get this thing moving but don't don't want to necessarily hold down the buttons and um, the buttons on the left I'm hitting right there that's the D key <coughs> this is just like if you're playing a game on keyboard The, you got W A S D. So W is right there, D right there, S and A. Okay. And then over on your right, that's done by the arrow keys. So you got your arrow keys. Okay. <coughs> you can also use your mouse if you want. And um, what they do is they put you, they put the capsule at a um, rotation. You know, it's to where it's off rotation, and um, so you your your port may be off by a foot. You won't know till you get closer. You you get within the rate, you get within the green where everything is green is what zero point two. Um, it it's um. tedious <laughs> I'm trying to get this crosshair in with the diamond I'm saying keep the rate down minus 0 0.2 on, on uh, milliseconds <laughs> I just get in there. I take this up into the red. <clears throat> Staying it up so. You guys can see what goes on. I'll edit the video so it's not so stinking long. 
I guess they show you what it does when you hit the damn thing. See that? It's kind of like a hesitation there. Now it's really shooting up. I'm off. I know it. Coming in too fast. To the right. To the left. To the right. Come in too fast. Way off. Slow it down some. See the angle of it. So this could take quite a while to do. Very tedious. I'm cockeyed, I know it. But I want you to see. You know, like stand still now. Come on. Simulator, keep going. It's like a hesitation. Come on, there we go. The movement. Slow it down, we're going to crash! <laughs> oh, no, 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 the other way. See, as you get closer, it's really tedious. All I gotta do is rotate. Rotate. Okay. No, 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 no. That's the other one. Where's the y'all? There's the y'all. Let's see what I gotta get in this port. <coughs> right on the money and then like shoots off, you know. I'm back yet. It's really tedious. I still have to rotate the the thing all. When I do this, it's gonna throw me here. Roll to the left. Come on, rotate you pain in the butt. <laughs> Come on. Ro rotate, damn it. Try and get it to rotate. Very tedious. It's about the closest I've gotten. 
that's there. Let's just push forward and see what it does. Come on. Come on. Stick it in the hole. Come on. Now what's it going to show me? Fail. You made contact with the International Space Station. But I didn't have everything like they say. 0 0.2 and the rate below dash or minus 0 0.2 milliseconds. I was above that and well I didn't have the rotation right so you get to see what you know so anyways if you like the video give it a like and uh, um, I'm a gamer so I play games but I haven't uh, played any games lately because the chair I was sitting in was a lawn chair and my old recliner I had to throw out because it seemed better days but I got a new um, recliner that I'm sitting in now, so I should be able to get back into playing games again. So, anyways, y'all have a good day and uh, stay safe. Aight. Keep on, keep it real. See ya.